What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, Unitedly Random, and I am unbraiding my hair so I can go get it washed and possibly get something done to it. I was gonna go ahead and cut off my sides and whatnot, but then I gave gave up because, like, I'm supposed to be there already, and that made me anxious because I was on the bus when I reached out to the lady like, hey, you know, it's Valentine's Day, and I want something last minute, which is already bad, um... And I thought I'd come in here and I'd just cut down my hair. So all she has to do is pretty much wash my hair and just dry it for me. And I do something with my hair. But honestly, I asked this lady how much it costs. And she was like, okay, well, I'll see you when you get here. So I don't know how much it's going to cost. And that's making me feel really anxious. Especially with the fact that I should have already been there by now. But, like, I was on the bus, and I didn't know that she wanted me to come immediately, which, I mean, great business, okay? I was like, hey, I would like my hair done, and she was like, okay, come through now. But, you know, I just feel very anxious right now. It's Valentine's Day. I wanted to do something random and something special for Stu. I don't really care about Valentine's Day. I've seen it be used as something that's like more performative than anything. I've seen it be used in like a household where the parents don't sleep in the same bedroom. And I don't think Stu is really special on Valentine's Day either because he he hasn't come from like a happy marriage family or anything or parents that were in a relationship and so I've seen a little bit like of a good relationship but like I think I also seen like the how hard a relationship can be at a young age and along with my whole pedagogy of you know you know love but like is stronger than love I'm a little twisted you feel me so because of that I'm all over the place but I wanted to show you guys our Valentine's Day so I undid my hair I was going to go ahead and shave it down, but I'm just going to go ahead and let the lady wash my hair. And then I'll shave it down when I get back home, I guess. Or she maybe she'll shave it down. But it's been a while since I cut my hair. So this is how much it's grown since the last time you, you know, you know, it, 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 it goes in. It shrinks in. But this is how much it's grown since the last time y'all saw me cut my hair. I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you guys again later. Give me a second. Bye. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Let me just tilt that upwards so you get the top of my head. Y'all better not make fun of me. I did went and got my hair done. This is what she gave me. It's giving very much I am somebody's auntie. But we're not going to focus on that because at the very least, my hair is done. However, it's Valentine's Day, right? And I wanted to clean up. I possibly wanted to cook. Not really. I did not want to cook. But, you know... I was like, here's what I'm going to do. I went to, I believe, Family Dollar the other day. Was it Family Dollar? I don't know where I went. I think it was Family Dollar, that little sticker. I went to Family Dollar the other day, and I got this little bucket, okay? So I didn't hide this bucket. I put it up in our, like, bathroom and everything. So Stu has seen this bucket already however he was like i didn't know we had that bucket how long have we had that bucket and i just never answered his question why because i got a bunch of little goodies to go inside of the bucket okay and so i'm gonna go ahead and set up the little box right now for valentine's day and i'm gonna show you guys what i did for my uh husband for valentine's day which is not gonna be a lot it's not this grand wonderful thing at all it's not that i you know part of me wishes it was more but another part of me is just like eh, you know what i mean so i got these roses and i only got one bag of roses and it's gonna line it's gonna line the box you know rose petals how romantic right so it looks like this and i know it looks a little messy but it's okay because you know how romantic at this point, Stu probably is not expecting anything from me, which would be the right thing for him to do, considering I didn't say anything. You know what? I have a bag under here. And I have the bag under here because I was like, I need a filler in this thing, right? But there's a red 
uh, towel over here. So let me grab that towel real quick. Can you tell, can you tell that I'm very last minute doing this, okay? And it's not like, oh yeah, you know, I didn't have the means. Like I could have ordered something to the house. I mean, if I ordered something to the house, Stu would, would have for sure known that I was getting him something. But the goal of this was to surprise him. And also like I waited last minute, okay? Which, you know, I'm sure a lot of us out here have, have waited to the last minute before. So let me just dump this out and put this towel in there as a buffer. And then put these on top of that. And the first thing that's going in this box will be like little cookies. And I wanted to decorate the box, honestly. I wanted to put like all these little stickers on the box. But give me a second. <coughs> oh, there's a little tickle in my throat. And so we also have these little chocolate candies that I'm gonna put in the box. And we have a little bear that I'm gonna put in the box. And so like, I'm stuffing everything in a box in a manner that kind of makes it look cutish. I just got a bunch of little snacks. Like Stu is the type, he eats snacks. He likes, he likes chocolate, you know, he's that type of person. And so I was like, okay, well, let me get him some chocolate. Let me get him some sweets. Let me get him something cute. So this is the basket so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, little chocolate, um, little chocolate, uh, marshmallow, little hot cocoa thing. We've been drinking a lot of hot cocoa lately. So like, it might seem like an assortment of things, which it really is an assortment of things, but it's an assortment of things that like, it has meaning in our relationship, you know, like chocolate, a little, a little rose, you know, a little rose in the background, a little bear, you know? Um, Pharrell Rochelle is hazelnut, and so therefore he can't eat it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and eat that for him, you know? But, um, little pieces of chocolate here and there is what I'm doing. And the thing that probably sucks for my husband is he'll never really be able to, like, buy me, like, a little box. Because I don't like chocolate like that. And then I got a little KY jelly, you know? I mean, I thought it would be kind of like, ooh, sexy, you know what I mean? You know, I don't know. So that's what's going on with that. And for the container, I have a bunch of like little stickers that I want to put on there. And then we have a Valentine's Day card where I like to always write something personal inside of the Valentine's cards. So I got a card that's like pretty much fairly empty. And I'm going to write a little like thing right here for him. Like just affirming my love for this man. And I'm going to stick it right there in the front and that's what he's gonna get for valentine's day i didn't do anything too extra you know how they say valentine's day is really for the women and so um i'm not sure if he got me anything for valentine's day right now he didn't say oh yeah i have a thing or we're gonna do this or anything like that and if he doesn't do anything i'm not gonna be like upset or anything because we aren't really the Valentine's type of people. But, you know, if he does do anything special, I will definitely let, let you guys know. 
but this is the little basket that I made. And the reason I made it is because we have a friend, a married couple friend. Um, I did a collab with her before on my channel, Earl Fleming. I believe that's her um, YouTube name. Go ahead and check it out if you're interested in like travel vlogs. She goes everywhere. She's here, there, there. But I was talking to that friend and I was like, yeah, we don't really have any plans for Valentine's Day. And she was talking about like, oh yeah, my, well, my husband um, got me this and this and this for Valentine's Day. And I was like, yeah, I don't really care for much, you know. I'm a really simple gal, you know. I don't really want much. I don't really care much about like name brands or anything like that. So it's not like he can surprise me with something. Because I don't really want things. If I want something, I just go get it, you know? So, I was saying that, but I was also, you know, I was listening, you know? What she was saying was leaving an impression in my mind. And I was like, well, you know, me and Stuart never really do anything much for Valentine's Day. Our very va first Valentine's Day together when we were dating literally was marred. I'm going to say marred. It was literally marred by um, us finding out that I had miscarried. So that was our very first Valentine's Day together while we were dating. And um, that kind of sucked. And then the Valentine's Day after that, um, you know, we were both working a lot. And, you know, I was, I was up here in... Um, we lived together at that point in the Ash Street house, and I remember, I don't remember these holidays at all, you know? When you go through, like, depression and everything, and it's not for everyone, but, like, sometimes you can, like, have lapse in memory and things like that. And, like, I remember the truly traumatic things. It's just hard to remember the good things because it seems like there were far and few in between, right? But... Um, one of the good things that he did that I do remember from that Valentine's Day is he put little stickers, um, little post-it notes all over like the door and it was like, hey ma, you cute. And I think I got a picture of it. I'll go ahead and put it on the screen now so you guys can see. So we did that and I believe we also went out to like eat that day. And, um, funny enough that the next Valentine's Day, because this I believe would be our third Valentine's Day. The next Valentine's Day, I don't remember what we did. And if, like, y'all might look at me and be like, you don't even remember your Valentine's Day. If y'all ask Stu, Stu has absolutely no idea. He don't know what we did yesterday. Like, he he one of those people, okay? I'll be like, oh, what did we do last Valentine's Day? And he'll be like, we did something last Valentine's Day? So I'm not the worst one, okay? We're b both bad at it. I think it has something to do with us just out here, you know, working. Working every night and day you know what i mean um it has a lot to do with us just working and because of the work that we do and like our time and our schedules we don't really do much for these holidays okay and it's not like oh you know something's wrong with our marriage or anything it's just it is what it is you feel me i've really been saying it is what it is lately um, but today was a Valentine's Day vlog. I still haven't figured out what I'm going to wear today. So that's a big issue. But, eh, you know, you know, because if all else fails, because we could go out and have like clothes on and da 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 da, but then we go out to a restaurant and they're full, they're booked, you know? We didn't plan anything in ahead of time. And literally, I woke up today and was like, I kind of want some twisted ribs. So I was, I brought it up to Sue. I was like, you know, Outback sounds really good today. You know, it's Valentine's Day. You want to go out to eat? Um, even before that, I bought a lasagna in which I was like, I bought a lasagna and I was like, I'll throw a lasagna in the oven and we can have that. So I think no matter what we're going to eat tonight, we're going to have something yummy. It's either going to be lasagna or it's going to be out back. But he also brought up like going out and drinking and stuff like that. I've been a little bit uh, nervous. Not necessarily nervous. But I've been kind of like standoffish with like going out and drinking. Um, my issue behind going out and drinking is simply because. I don't know. It just feels better not to put anything in my system. It feels better mentally for me. Not to you know interact with those things. Um. 
I think because I'm doing good mentally and it's just like, I don't want to add anything in that's just going to mess me up. And that's the biggest fear, you know, put something in your body like, Ooh, yay, this is fun. And it just messes you up. And so because of that fear, I'm like, nah, I'm good with like just staying at home, not drinking. But then, cause he brought it up. I started thinking and I was like, you know what? I kind of would like to go and drink. So if we go to Outback, I'll show you guys some pictures of what, um, of what it, like we got to eat or something, or I'll, I'll let you guys know what we did if anything happens. Because like I said, today is a vlog day. Now I'm just collecting a lot of material earlier today. I don't even know if I'm going to add this in, but earlier today I went to go get my hair done and it was like a very spur of the moment type of thing. And I'm lucky that she could like go ahead and pull me in. But like, look, she got me looking like she got me looking like my husband's about to go out with his grandma or his auntie or something like his sugar mama. That's what it is. You know, I look very old with this hairstyle. I didn't expect her to do this to me. Like when I, she asked me, did I want it parted in the middle or did I want it parted to the side? And I kind of wanted it the swoop, you know, that's what I had in mind. And she just gave me this. And I think she gave me this because my hair wasn't shaved down. And so she was afraid of my hair, like, of me going out, like, with my hair, like, with it not shaved down. But I told her before, when I went in, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to shave my hair down when I get home. And so I don't know why she did me like this, but I kind of feel like she did me dirty. And y'all let me know down in the comments below if y'all think that this is just a look, okay? But it makes me feel like my name is Nettie. And that's all I'm going to say about it. It makes me feel like my name is Nettie. And I'm, I'm Aaliyah. So it's like, okay. Like, my thing is, on top of that, she had, like, her daughter and stuff come into the place after, um when I was leaving and everything and she was done and they kind of like laughed at my head and I'm just like, you know what? You know what? When I saw it, I didn't want to be like, Oh, I don't like this because you know, I don't know. I'm a little, I'm a little poo nanny. I'm a little cat. You know what I mean? I did not want to be like, I didn't like it, but I did not like it. And it's nothing wrong with it. It's just, I'm 26, 25, turning 26 this year. Stuart's turning 25 this year. I'm still young, and so I would like to feel young as long as I can be young. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Let me tell you, I don't like chocolate, but a Pharrell Rochelle, she'll get me, mm-hmm, get me every time. I'll leave one for Stu. He can't get them all. He's allergic to nuts. But he'll eat a hazelnut like it's no big deal. I don't know. But that's pretty much all. Let me show you the box. And it is different types of chocolate. And it is also some like some um, sexy time gel. I don't know. You know, it, it can never be too, too, too moist. You know, it can never be too wet is what I hear. So this is what he's getting. Like, I don't, I'm not, I don't feel bad about it. I don't have a car, you guys. So 
I can't go and um, go and find all of this extra stuff and do all of these things. Like I can't be like, get in the car and we're going for a ride, you know? So I think it's a lot more than I did last year, considering we can't even remember last year. And then that's, that's what, what's keeping me going. Like, I'm like, okay, okay, at least try. Cause you know, the friend, the friend had me feeling bad. Earl had me feeling bad. Cause it was like, well, you know, it's Valentine's day. And I was like, I was saying like, yeah, I really don't care about Valentine's day. But then she like she brought it up enough that like now I'm thinking, oh, I guess I kind of should care. You know, I kind of should do something, you know. If last Valentine's Day wasn't memorable, maybe I should make this Valentine's Day memorable. You know? You feel me? I still don't know what I want to wear. But it's going to have to be something with my tits out because... My hair makes me look really old right now. And so I gotta I gotta I gotta show them why my husband married me if we go to a restaurant. I'll have pictures on my Instagram if you guys wanna see my Valentine's Day outfit. Like I'll definitely put a picture up and be like, Yeah, this was my Valentine's Day outfit. So go ahead and check that out if you would like to. This should be coming out. Within the week of Valentine's Day, I don't know if it's going to necessarily be tomorrow, you know, the day after Valentine's Day. But still, you know, it's going to be something. I haven't been posting more recently. I've just been re-uploading my old videos. And I'm like, ah, oh, I should probably do something about that. Much love and positive vibes, and I will see you guys next time. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. Much love and positive vibes, and I hope to see you guys again next time. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below about what you guys did for Valentine's Day. And like, what about the times where you didn't have much to your name or the times where you didn't have a car? Like, how did you make that Valentine's Day special? Because the way I made this Valentine's Day special is, well, I just showed you. And hopefully Stu likes it, you know? If he doesn't like it, he doesn't like it, you know? And that just means that I never try again. But if you like it, that means that I'm married to right now.